is no longer news that Delta State, the big heart of the nation, is blessed with abundant human and material resources. But when such a state is governed by a man full of ardent love for his people, even the sky is not a limit. This is the case of Delta State. When Dr. Emmanuel Udoa was elected by the people and subsequently sworn in as the governor of the state on May 29, 2007. I recognize the brand of our policy. I will once again pledge to be committed as always to the pursuit of the goals of equity, justice, and fairness in the handling of all issues. The consolidation I see in governments will ensure that the rights and liberty of all debtors and their freedom are guaranteed. We shall not take for granted the rights of any community, whether urban or rural, to enjoy improved infrastructure and basic social services. Dr. Jonah's major policy trust of transforming Delta State into Nigeria's leading state is hinged on the three-point agenda of peace and security human capital development, and infrastructure development. Less than one year in office, Dr. Duan has proven that governance is a serious business and that a lot could be achieved within a short time. To ensure peace and security in the entire state, especially in the riverine areas of the state, the governor constituted and inaugurated the Delta Waterways Security Committee to ensure the safety of lives and properties of those living, traveling, and working along the waterways. To ensure that nothing illegal happens to waterways of the other states from today onwards. The committee has this with within which to make its recommendations, and hopefully by then. Ministry of Peace and Security uh, would have been in place. So it's on that note, by the grace of God, I hereby inaugurate Delta Waterways Security Committee to all the glory of God and to the peaceful existence of the people of their destinies. Thank you very much. Several consultative meetings were held with service chiefs security agents and all stakeholders on the ways to enhance the peaceful coexistence of all in the states. To further boost security in the states, the first batch of 20 patrol vehicles were commissioned and presented to security agencies across the state in addition to other logistics. On behalf of the Delta State Department, I want to present this first part of the vehicles to you were used by a patrol team. The first part is supposed to be a total of 20. And I think right here now, we have less than 20. Uh, in the next two days, the balance will come, but we will have the 20. And um, I've also received offers from some corporate bodies who are interested in giving more vehicles to the patrol team. So hopefully, this will not be the end of the vehicles you will have. That is, the 20 will not be the end. After the 20, it's very likely that you have more vehicles for your operations. To meet the yearnings of the people from the oil producing areas of the state in order to enhance peace and stability, 
the Delta State Oil Producing Area Development Commission, the SUPADEC, was inaugurated to accelerate the development of the area. Our vision is to achieve peace, security, law and order in these communities through the creation of infrastructure and the development of our human capital because these are areas where we are richly endowed. You are not just a stranger to the Commission. I am therefore optimistic that you are well aware of the goals you have been appointed to attain. However, we are amongst others perform the following specific functions. One, administer 50% of the derivation proceeds accruing for the federation account for the exclusive development of oil producing communities. Lay to the federal and state governments, including oil companies, on the control of coastal erosion, oil pollution, spillages, ecological and environmental problems of oil producing communities in states. Three, execute such other works and projects and perform such other functions which are necessary for the sustainable development of the oil building communities in the states. And four, establish a well monitored and strictly supervised microcredit scheme to encourage and empower the people, especially the women and artists. As part of his avowed commitment to further boost security, Dr. Dua embarked on massive electrification projects in Asabawari and Efun, promising to do the same in all the local government headquarters of the state. I've also added the street lights you know, to, um, uh, in, the, in the upper area, especially Asaba, then Efun and Wari, uh, to ensure that the place is, 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 um, is beautiful. But beyond that, to also ensure the security of lives and properties in these places. Because at night, uh, you find that um, hoodlums uh, do more destruction at night. But with the presence of the light, uh, whatever they do will be very minimal. In his commitment to take the state to a new phase of rapid growth in infrastructure development, Dr. Duan and his team recognized the place of human capital development and therefore embarked on series of capacity building programs for various categories of persons in the state. Through the microfinance scheme of the state government, 2,433 persons in 148 cluster groups formed into cooperative societies from the three senatorial districts of the state benefited from the loans was disbursed at Koko Kwale and Otu Jeremy during the launching of the scheme. We need to empower our people. We need to turn the lives of our people. And I want to assure everyone here today and every other person that is listening or watching that we shall touch the life Every family in this state, very positive, very good The state government also launched a free medical program aimed at providing free and qualitative health care for pregnant women and nursing mothers to reduce maternal and infant mortality. The program was flagged off by the former Minister for Health, Professor Adenike Grange at Ugeli. As a compassionate governor committed to the welfare of the citizenry, the governor took decisive steps to stop the adulteration of petroleum products, especially the adulteration of kerosene, which claimed many lives and injured several others. At Wari Hospital and his environs, which recorded the highest cases of victims of kerosene explosion, the governor took care of all their medical expenses and gave 50,000 naira each to cushion the immediate needs of the victims. We shall reinforce all the, 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 the medical materials that are here. We shall uh, bring more. And, uh, the state government will also take up all the bills of those that are affected. For those in the hospital now, the bills they have paid, the state government will make reform. And for future treatment, or for further treatment, the state government will take responsibility. And um, the chief of staff, immediately, for those who are here in the hospital now, while the state emergency relief agency comes to make assessment, we are going to give them uh, 50,000 to each family so that they'll be able to take care of. Um, immediate needs as they are supposed to hear. Uh, this is not the money for the bills. We'll pay the bills separately. 
just forget to buy if you are there with toiletries and all that while they are because on many occasions he has rescued accident victims and took care of their medical expenses Under the present administration, approval was given for local government workers and primary school teachers to enjoy the 15% salary increase. Efforts by government to attract investors received a boost when the public and private sectors of Singapore indicated interest to invest in the state after a visit by Dr. Dwan and some top government officials. The governor who also visited the management of the port authorities in Singapore has restated his commitment to revitalize port operation in Koko, Sapele, Fokadus and Wari. To create a healthy living environment and attract more investors, the cities of Wari and Asaba are now wearing new look as the two tax forces on beautification swung into action immediately after their inauguration. The governor, Dr. Emmanuel Udwan, personally supervised sanitation in both cities, ensuring that refuse dumps are cleared regularly. In one of the visits to Wari, he expressed concern over the structural defects and sanitary condition of a three-story building, which he declared as unsafe and dangerous to its occupants, and therefore directed the immediate relocation of the tenants as a preventive measure to save their lives. Various youth skill acquisition programs were organized aimed at reducing unemployment in addition to sports development which received a boost when the state government successfully hosted the Nigerian Lesetho Soccer Friendly March in Wari, the match attracted thousands of visitors from across the continent. As part of the state integrated development plan, government has completed the building of markets at Mosoga, Ekwama and Abavo to take care of traders who sell their wares along the major highways. So many road projects were embarked upon while ongoing ones are being completed. Recently, the governor embarked on the inspection of the projects which will soon be ready for commissioning. The projects include the Olomu Bridge, Ogeli Dualization Projects, the Asaba Township Stadium under reconstruction, the new Ogbogonogo Market, the new State Secretariat Annex, and the Government House Sports Complex, among others where he directed the contractors to complete the work on schedule. We are making efforts to ensure that we release money to them. And uh, if we are releasing money to them, we also expect that they will be working very hard to get those completed. Because the specials is very high. So what we want to do this week is for the contractors to give us a work plan on all our roads. This is the dry season. And we must take advantage of the dry season to ensure that all our roads are completed.
This is the agenda. Already, kidnapping of expatriates has become a thing of the past. Foreign investors are now trooping to the state to do business. With the sustainable peace and calm in the state, all parties are now working together to ensure accelerated development of the state. All ongoing projects, the roads, hospitals, bridges, pan energy, housing, office complexes are being completed in addition to new ones. The accelerated statewide development through the Delta State Integrated Development Program has commenced. Under the program, there will be infrastructure development worth over $3 billion through public-private partnership. The focus will be on road construction, railway system, port facilities, property and industrial development, gas, water, telecommunication, electrical power, among others. Growth and development are evident in all aspects of government operations. The people structure and processes are being prepared to meet the challenges of the future leaving no doubt in the minds of doubters that the three-point agenda of dr emmanuel Udwan will guarantee peace security unity progress accelerated development and harmony in the entire states